Hello, good day everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial on uh, converting uh, MySQL data to um, Firebase. So basically, uh, what we can see uh, on YouTube as well as some um, video tutorials uh, currently available on YouTube is uh, they have instead um, build the Firebase to uh, have the same schema with the MySQL. But for this um, uh, tutorial, we'll be uh, dealing with transferring the actual data to uh, from uh, MySQL to um, Firebase. So I have here a sample database. Uh, this is just in the local. And it has around 600 records. So this is... Uh, a good for example for this tutorial so <clears throat> we will um, uh, persist this one to our um, fire firebase firestore database so uh, let's create a project let's create a project and we'll call name it as um, my SQL migrate we accept the terms and then continue and let's okay I accept then create project so uh, let's just wait for this to be done so now um, it's done uh, creating the project so let's hit continue And then uh, we'll have to uh, go here at the build and then um, go to um, Firestore database. Then let's uh, create database and uh, start in production. And then choose the uh, region that's uh, much closer to you, to your um, location right now. So I'm in Philippines, so it should be something in Singapore. So going to enable it. So uh, take note that uh, this is all uh, within the free tier of the Firebase. So you will not be worried if you are having some um, costs on this one so apparently you will not have uh, yeah so uh, we have here already um, created the cloud fire store and then um, we're going to go here in the project seat settings and then um, we're going to go here at the service accounts and then we're going to uh, generate new private key. So this will be the one that we'll be using uh, later on on our uh, project. So <clears throat> uh, for this video tutorial, I'm going to use the library that I have created um, available on GitHub. Uh, this is called as Go Meet. So basically it's uh, built with Go and I will be just uh, exporting, I mean, importing a function for uh, MySQL related connections. So, this is the package MySQL. So, uh, this is also the, the official page. Go official page where you can download the. Um, Go. So basically, it's a, Go is an open source programming language um, supported and created by Google uh, to build concurrent programs. So in this in, in this terms of, of migrating the data, um, especially when dealing with a lot of the, um, records like 1 million to 2 million records, um, I highly suggest to <clears throat> build the application and Go. So without further ado, let's try to create a project on this one. So I'll have it inside the YouTube video. 
I'll have a new folder here. Um, let's have it as go um, go tool. So I'll just go there and then uh, open it with the code. So basically, um, you'll be requiring to uh, install as well the Video Studio Visual Studio Code to uh, be able to do this. But uh, if you have tend to have like Sublime Text or other uh, text editor, then you can have us have that as well. But as for my end, I highly suggest to use the Visual Studio Code. Now um, um, we are here in the go to um, folder, the one that we've created earlier. And we're going to go here in the terminal, new terminal. Uh, by default, I'm having a bash, but you can uh, uh, select or configure it by uh, clicking this um, drop down here and then select default profile and select the get bash. So I'll start by initializing the um, mode in it. I'll just make this one as, uh, yeah. So let's initiate the projects. So go mode in it, go tool. So this is the typical way to initialize um, a go uh, project. And uh, I highly suggest to do this just unlike by, by unlike the other way, which is just to have the main.go file and then uh, just put any imports on them. But uh, I highly suggest that you initialize a project instead of doing that. So we have go mode in it that go tool. It will create the default go that mode, which will, um, uh, like uh, responsible for all the dependencies that you have. So now we're going to import the go meet. So let's have go back to the code and then installation installation paste. Okay. So uh, you see that it will add on our go that mode by indirect because the, it is still not yet used on our um, uh, project or repository. So let's add a file named main.go and uh, package main. So we name it as package main because this will be the uh, entry point of our program and basically that we will take that take a function here as func main okay now um we we need to create another file which we will call as uh, models.go where uh, we will initialize all the uh fields that we're going to use so we'll, we'll have the same package main so that um you could easily uh, uh, call it on our main.co so let's uh define a model so type um let's have this fire data and struct so struct in in go is like a data class where in you could put a the fields so let's check the fields here available on our database so we have dish um, ingredients then or ingredients so we'll just take first the two fields for this tutorial so let's have um, dish which will take us a string and then we will have a JSON structure tag um, dish Sorry. And uh, if so happen that it will not have any dish, then we'll have omit empty so that um, it will just not uh, pop populate that specific um, <clears throat> field. 
and then we have ingredients and strings um json ingredients still the same omit empty okay so now that uh, we have the dish ingredients the basic fields that we're going to populate on our um firestar database now uh, we will um initialize the connection uh, i'm sorry if this is not the typical uh, way on the go but uh since this is just a, a tool to migrate the database uh, data then I, this will uh, suffice our requirements so let's have um, fun um, uh, push my SQL data to Firestore and let's take the new my sql as my sql and we will have the package which this one mac mini go meet and then new go with my sql so we'll have first the database name is on the uh Parameter. So we'll have the database name, uh, the server, the user, password, and the driver. So we'll have um, we'll have database name is Fire Data, I Fire DB. Then uh, server is localhost, and the user is um, root. The password is develop at 2021, and then my SQL is the driver. 